Construction began in 1845 and was completed in 1866. Named for President Zachary Taylor, who died in office during its construction, the three-tiered fort took 22 years to build due to the remote location, yellow fever, and hurricanes. The fort has served in many wars, including the Civil War, which the Union used to detain up to 300 blockade-running ships. It was also used in the Spanish-American War, World War I, and World War II. The fort's last role was during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 due to its proximity to Cuba. Although not one shot was fired in defense because it was so formidable, many military men and their families lost their lives to disease at the fort. An average of 15 people a day succumbed to yellow fever. In 1898, the top two levels were removed and concrete was added to the barracks building, which is now crumbling from the added weight. Excavations began in 1968 by volunteer Howard England and lasted for 10 years, during which time a soldier, believed to be Wendell Gardier, who was stationed at the fort from 1861 to 64, appeared to England and told him where to dig to uncover the largest collection of Civil War artifacts in the United States. Although many artifacts were uncovered, even more remained buried. It was decided to leave the remaining artillery in its place due to a lack of funds. Park volunteers and rangers have reported hearing whistling, howling, and men singing during sunset and sunrise when the fort is empty. Some claim to have seen soldiers lining up in formation when the flag is lowered in the center of the field, while others say that soldiers walk right up to them, then turn and disappear. Unexplained conversations can be heard throughout the fort when no one is present, and sometimes a call to attention can be heard across the field. When we were filming this piece, we had several strange occurrences. One in particular happened near the jail cells. The battery on our camera went from 80% charge to critically low within seconds. We stopped filming and left the area to figure what was wrong with the camera and battery. We returned to the area a few minutes later with the same battery and began filming again. The battery was back to 80% charged. Another weird event happened when we went into an area that is down a corridor then turns into another section. There aren't any openings or windows and in the hot, sticky August heat of the tropics we had an uncharacteristic cold spot that stopped us in our tracks. We tried to find the source for this dramatic change in temperature but could find none. There wasn't any wind or even a breeze for that matter and the cold area was still. There has been a vast amount of dedicated military personnel within these walls in the last century and a half, most dying senselessly to disease while trying to carry out their obligations. Anyone can understand why so many remain in spirit and continue to make their presence known. <laughs> 